All right, Cliff. Bridesmaid, right. almost at the top. How how did you feel about this game? It looked like you, were you feeling like if it had lasted one more turn, you had it? Yes, but apparently everyone felt that way. So uh, <laughs> who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, certainly possible it went a different way. So how did you feel when you heard that this was announced as the final game? I was very excited. We had practiced a lot. I probably have 70 games under my belt. I was, I was feeling good about it. This, this Splendor or Wingspan of, of the five options were really high for me. Uh, so it's competitive play. How did you feel about the, the level of competition going into this? Before the Dune game and with this one, I felt like, like the competition was really good in, in all the semis and finals that I played. Uh, and, and there were some people who were here to have a good time and, and have an experience, uh, and they'd show up, you know, in the quarters or in the early rounds, uh, and and play and have a good time. And they weren't really interested in playing more than once anyway. You know, they're here to do some Vegas stuff. But I felt like the competition, and especially at all of the finals, the Gaia final, the Ticket to Ride final, and this final was very high. Yeah, the Ticket to Ride final was very very stressful. We weren't sure who was going to win. Um, Shout out to Nick on that. I'm not sure he's going to get enough credit, but he did all the math at the end. You see him calculating everything out. Definitely. And he guessed my card, you know, to be within two points. And so, interestingly, he had one card left. If he had built a one rail for one point, we would have tied, and he would have had the first tiebreaker with two tickets and me only one ticket done. Uh, but, you know, I could have had an extra point, you know, ticket could have been one more. And so he, he did what he thought his only move was, was to get the tickets. If he flips any ticket there that is in his route, he wins. Uh, so it's really impressive math and, and that play. Very, that game was much closer than people think um, at the end of it. So uh, was that the, was that the, that's probably the closest shave that you had, I think. Yeah, I mean, Gaia was unbelievably close too. The, the Gaia competition was, was really fierce once Everybody had passed in the last round of Gaia. I knew I had it uh, because White had kind of done his thing, and I knew where his end game points were, and I knew my, where my end game points were. But through turns four and five of Gaia was was incredibly close to. That's probably closest one of the closest games of Gaia I've ever played as well. And so that was they were all all really tight and really close in the finals. All right. Well, second place is no joke. Uh, we hope to see you next time and take first place back. That would be great. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Tom.